President Biden and other world leaders are pushing for ceasefire negotiations between Israel and Hamas. These officials say a deal is even more urgent due to the increased tensions now with Iran. KCAU 9's Washington correspondent Jesse Chenur is in our nation's capital with the story. President Joe Biden issued a rare joint statement with Egypt and Qatar to up the pressure on ceasefire negotiations. As Israel ordered another mass evacuation in Gaza ahead of new attacks. The framework of the deal is that there is a six week ceasefire that would be agreed to um, once the deal is finalized. President Biden and his counterparts are mediating the talks between Israel and Hamas and are demanding they resume next Thursday. We have uh, made great headway, but we need to finalize the agreement. We need to finalize it as soon as possible. Officials say both sides have already agreed to the bulk of the deal. Now it's down to details, like the timing of a planned hostage and prisoner swap. A ceasefire would go a long way towards alleviating tensions in the region. All eyes are on Iran after Israel's assassinations of top leaders of its affiliated terror groups Hamas and Hezbollah. We continue to make clear to Iran that they should not escalate this conflict. Officials are also blaming Iran for this week's attack on a U.S. military base in Iraq. It was two rockets launched by what we believe to be an Iranian backed Shia militia group. The Pentagon says the strikes injured four service members and a contractor. Three of the five injured personnel have been transferred to Landstuhl Regional Medical Center in Germany for additional treatment. The contractor and remaining service member have returned to work, while the Pentagon investigates how the rockets were able to reach their base. In Washington, I'm Jesse Chenor.